What's up guys, I'm back, and I wanted to show you today the primer, the uh, primer I use from Sherwin-Williams. To me, it's one of the best primers ever. I've used all kinds of primers, PPG, uh, Diamond, BASF, all that stuff, and uh, Sickens, all the primers, basically, there are out there, the cheaper ones, the best. And so far to me, this primer from uh, Sherwin-Williams is the best primer I've ever used, so I wanted to show you it and how it works, and how good it is guys. So this primer here is the um, P30s. Uh, gray primer, they got a black and they got a white. And these are also your sealers. And um, so you can mix it however you want for your sealer or for your primer. And they have different reducers to speed it up. But I like to use the ASA primer and it's very high production, it's very fast. And uh, this is it here. This is the accelerated reducer, the AS8. So with this stuff here, 20 minutes, you're priming and blocking this stuff. So I'm going to show you this stuff here and show you how good it is. I'm going to put it on this job and uh, we'll, we'll time it. And then we'll show you it, it, how easy you can block it and how fast you can block it, guys. So stay tuned. I just wanted to show you this. If you guys are using this, uh, the Sherwin or using other primers, I've never seen a better primer for holdout. It doesn't shrink, it's already pre-flexed, and it's shiny, so that's one of the good things about it that I like. It lets you see the body work, and I like to use the black primer because it really shows up on the, shows you the gloss to show you how something, is, if it's wavy or straight. So stay tuned, guys, and check this out. So we're gonna prime this spot here, a couple spots on the bedside, and then we're gonna prime this tailgate for the truck. But. I'll show you here how it's... So right now, guys, it's 137, about 138 on the clock. So you guys could see how I could block this stuff down and how fast it is. We already got this bedside prepped out and partially prepped. We clean and scuffed it, then we gotta sand it a little more and scuff it a little more, but that's why we got this taped up so small to keep overspray off it. So once this dries, we can go ahead and roll with it. So I just wanted to show you, see how it's got that gloss? It'll show any imperfections real easy for you being it's shiny. And it uh, just is a good primer and it's fast, it's good. It doesn't die out, doesn't suck in, doesn't shrink and it's pre-flex, so some of the best primer I've ever used. And they want you to put it on back to back with that AS8, because it kicks so fast, so they just want you to back to back it. See how it shines? It lets you see what you're doing and uh, shows you how it's gonna look before you actually sand it. So it's pretty good for that. Well, that's about it for that. I put two, two coats on. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll show you when I uh, what time it is when we get back to it. So stay tuned guys. I'll show you the clock and I'll show you when I'm sanding on it. Guys, it's two minutes to two and I'm gonna go ahead and check that primer out and see how it's doing, so. So I got a block with 320 on it. I'll show you that. Hope you guys can see there, 320. So this isn't like I'm going with a real fine. And that's the 3M Velcro block with the Norton 320 on it, but. 
See it powdering up? You know, I'm not saying it's the only primer out there, but I like it. I've been spraying Sherwin now for probably about four years, five years now. And I used to use PPG all the time. And uh, their primer just can't compete with this Sherwin Williams, guys. It's it's outdated. It doesn't it doesn't it shrinks up. It's not preflex, and it just to me, it's not as good. You know, Sher PPG's got good things, just like they all do, all the companies. But one of the things that really, to me, about Sherwin Williams that uh, separates them is their primers and their clears. To me, this here, look at this. You got 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, and this stuff is ready to sand with a 320 block. This isn't like I'm using a DA. And uh, see it powdering right off? So, the stuff is good. But I wanted to show you guys, to me, this is the, the key to production is this primer. You got 20 minutes and you can sand something down and block it and then paint it and be with no shrinkage. So to me, this is the best primer out, guys. This is that uh, P30. And this is the black with the AS8 and the H38 hardener, guys. So I hope you guys appreciate it. And if anybody's gonna try out some primer that they wanna really test and see how good it is, this is it here, the uh, P30. Some of the best I've ever used. What's up, guys? So it's a little later on. It's, a, it's going on about, uh, let me see. 323, so I got that truck in the booth and it's already bagged up. I'm gonna shoot it so it's the same day repair. And there's the tailgate. And that's that PW30, guys. So it's definitely a production clear uh, primer. The whole system's production, the Sherwin-Williams guys. They give you uh, what you need to get the job done. And they don't hold back nothing from you guys. They give you whatever you need as far as speed clears, um, slower clears, glamour clears, all that stuff. I, I really recommend the, uh, the uh, Sherwin-Williams system. So I'm not biased to any of them. I've just produced with all kinds of systems throughout the years. And so far with this Sherwin-Williams, I've been able to make the most amount of money with it and have the best uh, results. So it's not all about money. It's all about how you feel at the end of the day when you're done with your job. Does it look the way you want it to? So I really like the way it looks the next day couple of weeks from now and it holds out good and it just lets you produce so I'm gonna finish and shoot this job and finish out this video guys so this is one from start to finish within a couple of hours span and just wanted to show you how good this p30 primer is so stay tuned and watch this one guys